Hello, and welcome again to SynthJacker, the auto sampler for iOS and iPadOS. SynthJacker has a feature called Bring Your Own Audio File, and it lets you use any recording that was created by driving an instrument with a MIDI file created by SynthJacker and slice it into individual samples, just like recording a hardware synth or an instrument audio unit. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this feature to create multi-samples. For this tutorial, I have recreated the famous Fatline Bass preset from the Polysix as found in the Cork collection using the Pompeii synth in Cork Gadget. It's a typical bass preset covering one octave from F2 to F3 by three semitones and it has three velocity layers. So when I have the preset created, I swipe left on it and tap Generate MIDI to create a MIDI file. Uh, this MIDI file will be found in the iOS Files app, in the SynthJacker folder, and inside that folder you will find another one called MIDI files. You could do this whole process on your iPad, but just for demonstration I'm going to do parts of it on the desktop. So for that you will need to copy the MIDI file over to your desktop, for example a Mac, and that's easiest to do using iCloud Drive. So I select the MIDI file, then tap more, and then copy. And as the destination, I'll select my iCloud Drive and then a dedicated SynthJackal folder. Next, I will connect my iPad to the Mac using a Lightning to USB cable. Uh, this allows me to use iDAM or inter-device audio and MIDI to transfer MIDI from my Mac to my iPad and to transfer digital audio from my iPad to my Mac through the lightning port. For this I'm going to start audio MIDI setup on the Mac and then select the window audio devices. I should see my iPad on the list of audio devices and now I just need to click enable on that device. And next I'll open my SynthJacker folder in iCloud Drive. I should see the MIDI file I just created, but I may need to download it by clicking its cloud icon. I'm going to use Ableton Live to play the MIDI file on the iPad and record the result through iDAM. When I've started Live, I'll go to Preferences, Audio, and select my iPad as the audio input device. You can use the Mac's built-in output to monitor, or if you have an audio interface connected, just use that. Now I'll drag the MIDI file from my iCloud drive to a MIDI track in live and set the tempo to 60 BPM as found in the MIDI file when prompted by live. You can do this either in the session view or arrangement view of live. Here I'm using the arrangement. The default live project conveniently has one audio track and one MIDI track. On the MIDI track I need to set the MIDI output to iPad. MIDI channel 1 is usually fine, but it depends on what you're going to drive on the iPad. Because this bass sound is monophonic, I can select just one as the input. For a stereo sound, select 1 slash 2. I also set monitoring to in, so that I can hear the audio coming from the iPad. It's also a good idea to rename the track Pompeii Fatline Bass. Now I need to prepare the iPad for recording. In this case, I have a core gadget project with the Pompeii synth already loaded up. So I can tap on the virtual keyboard in Gadget and hear the sound on my Mac. Finally, it's time to record. With everything set up, I just click on the record button in Live and wait for the MIDI sequence to finish. Then stop the recording. When the recording is done, I'll control click or right click the audio clip, then select Show in Finder. I'll copy the file over to my SynthJacker folder on iCloud Drive and wait for it to be uploaded. Then I open the Files app on the iPad and copy the recording from iCloud Drive to the SynthJacker Audio Files folder. I start up SynthJacker again and make sure to select the same sequence preset as before. Then I select External Recording as the source and select the recording I just copied from the audio files folder. The final step, 
Uh, with the sequence and recording selected, I tap the Synthjacker record button in the toolbar, and when it's finished, I have a nice set of bass sound samples in the Synthjacker folder in the Files app. Do check the files before importing into Obsidian or some other sample-based synth 